Templar instead. And here we have a ton of Zealots being made. Looking back here, Force is actually getting the plus three weapons upgrade. That is huge. Ton of DPS. I do not think that uh, Smishiwa can deal with that because the fact that he doesn't have a hive quite yet, though it is researching the hives on the way. He has to get that plus uh, three care base. Otherwise, these Zealots are going to destroy Zergling so easily. Two hits because of that differential between the plus three attack and the plus two care base. That just uh, means that there's 18 damage per hit by the Zealot, which definitely two shot Zerglings. That's something, uh, something to note about the game. True in StarCraft 1 as well as StarCraft 2. Alright, so now it looks like uh, Lobby's going to go ahead and move out with uh, four Zealots to try and hit this base down here. So Manishiwa is really going to be hard-pressed to uh, get some uh, heavy hitters into this base. So Lobby is being so effective with his army. We need to see some fungal uh, fungal growth. We need to see some more of those uh, great neural parasites. But now we have Manishiwa going to lose some drones that he can't afford to lose. And all oh, the queen goes down with so much energy. And that hatchery just fell so quickly. Oh my god. A gold gets lost for Manishiwa. However, he does have mining base, mining base, sort of mining base, and soon to be mining base. Oh, and look at this. Wow, Lobber just does not want to lose yeah, at all. He's just going to try and stabilize and just make sure that he can uh, mount up as much as he can and be safe to whatever counterattacks uh, Smishwell may want to do. Those uh, cannons do well against Lings uh, unless they get surrounded. That's the only time that the cannons lose really to Lings. We have some more harassing coming down with these um, with these roaches, and they're going to go ahead and actually start getting killed because of the immortals that is. Uh, the immortals getting, well, allowing them to get. Ah, the observers allowing the immortals to see them. But here we have this huge counterattack coming from Smishwell. He's going to completely surround all of the those zealots and they go down great surround on all of those uh, cannons going to go ahead but they did a great job with delaying the army now Labra has his reinforcements in here we have all these archons getting neural parasite going to go ahead and deal damage bailings on those zealots the problem is that more infest oh my god there's no problem at all there's all these neural parasites why worry when you just have the entire protoss army fighting for you the only issue is that Spanish is going to have to deal with these immortals that are still alive roaches take so many hits and there's uh, three immortals they have four immortals the top three do not have shields though there's those that are taken out that'll be a big deal. The problem is that Spanishwa just does not seem to have the numbers to deal with its economies and damage so greatly that um, Lobber is looking very solid. The uh, moral count is just uh, going ahead and starting to decrease. The thing is fungal growth, great fungal growth, uh, but the, oh, look at this, the vessels are armored. They take the extra hits from the immorals as well. They are taking a lot of damage. The problem is that reinforcements are coming in from Lobber at a great time to actually try and um, just deal so much damage as he can. He's forcing Spanishwa to continue building units. Spanishwa is really getting put on the back foot. 99 food to 145 of Lobber. Lobber is just doing so much damage is taking down everything that he can. So much damage. Um, this base has been out for Spanish for a while. He just hasn't been able to use it. hasn't been able to saturate it at all. Labra's uh, Archon is uh, just trying to sit there and do nothing. And there's a Stalker down there as well. Um, the gold is still up for him. Looks like he uh, took a lot of hits on it, but the problem is it didn't go down. Spanish just has not been able to deny anything from uh, Labra. Labra's done all the nine, controlling the game. Um, even with that, that so well handled cannon rush, he is just destroying Spanishua. Uh, we have five Archons. That is, just takes so much damage to really be able to try and have a hope of killing. But the High Templar could actually get killed by the Broodlings. Ah, the Broodlings killed the High Templar. Oh, wow. Spanishua gets a great Broodling attack after that. He's trying to get his gold back up once more. Um, let's look at the income for a second. We are seeing that is definitely in favor. 83 probes are out for Lobber. Oh, that is just insane. The income is definitely going to favor him. He can just keep sacrificing his army, rebuilding with cheap units, just get a bunch of Zealots, get a bunch of Archons, and that, this combination of units is so deadly. Spanishua just may want... Actually, he's not going to go ahead and cancel. It looks like um, Blobber is going to go ahead and uh, move in with a bunch of nice, nice, nice feedback. Um, that's just a great feedback against those Infestors. He's doing so well against Spanishua, and there it is. Did not get canceled either. Spanishua, he needed that money too. He is so, so broke. Um, he does three evolution chambers. He does have three evolution Ah, he has three evolution chambers on the, uh, the field. However, I don't know if he's really been able to use them as he's just at the plus two carry pace. His links are at two, two. So again, very susceptible to those zealots. Still curious as to why there's no uh, charge left, but there is uh, Blink finally being researched by Lobber. He's playing very solid. The issue is the fact that um, that uh, Spanishua needs to get expansion. His economy is trying to get this expansion on the right, but again, he is behind. Lobber he's, he's is completely overly saturated. Uh, gold base down here. He's getting a bunch of Templars. He's getting a, even more Templars. Those are all Templars morphing. That's so many uh, Cyberstorms and feedback. So he's actually choosing to get Archons instead.
So this uh, mix from him is very economically focused in the fact that he can just spend all his gas on the Templar, all of his minerals on the uh, Zealots, and just mix in Stalkers and Immortals to uh, the ratio that he would actually really like. We have a huge amount of Baneling Bombs down here. That's really not going to go well as the fact that Labra has the obs these Observers on the field. Unless these Zealots decide to walk over it, um, Spanishua is not going to be able to use those Baneling, bo Baneling Bombs to any, sort of, any form of effectiveness. So you should walk ahead and lose another of this overlords. Um, he is going to have a little bit of an issue in the fact that uh, this army is kind of going on for the kill. So when has now unburrowed all those banelings. Does he have banelings? No, he doesn't have such so triple hooks. No banelings speed is on the field. All these lings getting side stormed all the hell. Oh my god. So many kills on those Templar. That is insane. 20 kills on this Templar. All of those links and banelings. That is huge. Fenishiwa cannot take those storms. This is a beautiful army composition coming from Labor, And it looks like he's actually doing a great job of just controlling Fenishiwa. This goal is about to finish. Fenishiwa is not using these left and right bases. Which is, he's got to get those mining. He's uh, using all of his drones down here. It is natural and his third base. But in all honesty, he's got to get something else going. He's so far behind. We even have Labor actually going for um, some Colossus tech now. Uh, we do the first classes is on the way. Um, Slobber has only two morals, switching to classes, but, oh, they're trying to be some fanciness with the, uh, oh, yep, that goes down. So, unfortunately, but more size storm on the roaches, uh, or else, and he actually sniped off the gold, uh, nexus, that's all he wanted to do. And actually have the broodling completely surrounding the archon, it does go down. I have to note that, um, Spanishwa has done a really great job with his broodlings in this game, but no size storm over all of those lings, so many go down. That is really bad, nine kills on this Templar, and drones get taken out. Spanishwa, he is getting control. Control. This is really unfortunate. Um, evolution Chamber is still not being able to be used. And and look, Blabber has the plus three attack. He has the plus three attack. His zealots will just wreck any form of... Um, actually, there are, more, there are no zealots left in this mix. It looks like they all got taken out by the Banelings. Uh, so Manishua is going to go ahead and just lose all of these links to the Archons, though. Blink on this one stalker. Go ahead and see. Parent attack is having Spanishua has a lot of infestors. Nine infestors. Great for delaying, but I don't know if he's actually going to be able to do this to this army as there are all of these uh, feedbacking Templar that can easily hit that these base down here. And there he's doing exactly that. The uh, Templar is going ahead and actually get... Oh, but oh, that's so unfortunate. He doesn't even have the capability to do any more size storms. He's trying to size storm Lobber, but that Templar does not have enough energy, which is very, very sad to see. But a lot of Blink Stalkers are on the field now with Archon support as well as Templars and Colossi Immortals. This is a very hard army to stop. Very hard ground army to stop. Colossus is uh, now joining the fray. So multiple Colossi are on the field now. More Infestors. Spinishua is trying to use Infestors and Roaches to really try and um, get Lobber to just make a mistake with his army. With uh, the right mistakes, if you neural parasite the Colossus, get some fungal growth on this uh, group of armies, then this is really, really going to be great for him. The problem is that Labra is at max with Nats Manishua, so that one thirty, and we have blinking up with these stalkers and start sniping those. Oh my God, sniping those infestors is really, really great. Where is the feedback? There is the feedbacks on those infestors. Um, hitting the front ones that are actually not going to be dying, but now blinking up on all these stalkers, and there is Gigi from Spanishua. Labra is actually going to go ahead and lose. Guys, if you want to see this game once more or more Spanishua games, I have a YouTube. 